So now I'm going to show you how to build the collider in Fortnite Creative. So, let's start off with the bottom of the collider where you can go to like the launch pad place. So, I would recommend using like this one command cavern and this floor piece. And then, yep, grab a railing. Is my game lagging? No, I don't know why it did not work, okay. So yeah. You got those and then okay, let's okay. Let's do this. One, two up. We're also gonna need this. If it would actually give it to me, I don't know what's happening. Or is it like a version like that but like it's solid? I don't know if there will be. But if you can find it just you could use like no. Must be three. And this side must be facing that side. Must be facing that way. Okay, so one, two. Now we can add this. On the, th on the third one, add it. And then add the basically two wa t two floors like that. And then. I don't know what that was. Just create it. Okay. Oh my god. Please, okay, okay. Once it's like that, you obviously got that part. Now we want to basically like create like what's it called? How could I say it's like the frame of one of the legs? So let's go into this giant robot volcano base and grab this one of you right here. This little like I don't know, what you, I don't know, what, I, I can't speak. I don't know what you would call this thing. But grab it and make sure to grab this piece of here also. Okay, now let's start trying to trying to do one of the legs. So, so let's it at a what's it called? A roll and make sure you got what's it called? Collision hold nothing. Let's actually try and get it face up then we can tilt it all in one part if it is meshing it's fine I'm not gonna try bother fixing it you can try because this is gonna be a rush build okay let's try and get it like that for each side now we're gonna try and work on like the little Pod that's gonna like go here. So go back to the robot gallery and grab one of these. I prefer this one because it's got no top part. So yeah, grab grab it and then bring it out. Make sure it's facing the uh, one that's got like the little bumps. Make sure it's facing that way. If you want, change the width of it so it matches perfectly. It can actually even match perfectly. There we go. And then do what's it called? The is it roll? Yeah. Okay, go roll. And then change the height a bit. Change the height on this thing. Just so it's basically like yeah. So it's like around about over here. As I say. I'm not going to try and get everything correct, so if there are gaps, you can try and fix them. Now let's actually work on the full-on massive tower part itself, the actual collider. Uh, now we're going to want to use this piece. Yes, it's this piece. And we're going to try and get it to at least fit through halfway on this thing. Roughly. Until the little gap is covered, then you know you got it perfectly. And then, for the rest, just do the height fully. Unless the height is fully, yes it is. Is this width? Because if it's width, okay, no, it's depth. Change the depth a bit, just so it's a little bit, a little bit more skinnier. Or thinner, whatever you want to call it. And so it looks something like this. And then this part over here where it's got like all these like little 
lines going across you just want to make it point onto that part or around so make sure it's facing the like the inside where the collider would be we will get to this part soon just 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 wait but now we've got this part now we can add another part it must always be roughly higher than 100 meters it has to be otherwise sorry but, but you, you ain't building a collider you're building something else so I would usually go for like a hundred and like twenty feet or meters, but anything would be fine. Now that we got that, you want to go back to the prefabs, back to the robot gallery, and grab this piece right over here. This will basically be like for the top of the collider. Now I have been having issues, but I think I know how to solve the issue with this thing. Like you want to place it on, grab it again, and then you want to tilt it. There we go. But as you can see, this tilt kind of tilted a bit too far in. So what I would like to do is, I would just like to do my own tilt. So get it back to normal. And take grid snap off. Very risky move, but yeah, it's the only thing. And if you want, you can resize it a bit. I wouldn't recommend it, but if you want to, go ahead, resize it. Now that we got that done, we're gonna do the little like it's got, it's got like bumps because like every pulse it does it charges up. So we're gonna use this little thing. This actually it's not little, it's quite big. Shrink it down until it fits perfectly over here. Now I won't say this is the best block to use. Yeah, we can't use that one. I'm sorry. So, we're going to have to use this one then. I don't like using this one only be it's because it's got lights. But you have to use that, I guess. Unless, obviously, you can find a better one. Okay. Mine may not be touching, but as I say, if you want, you can make a touch. Because this is a rushed build. Two, three, four, seven, nine, ten. Okay, there must be ten of there must be ten of these like a line thing. So one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, the controller drift. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh my God, let's just actually copy them all. There we go. We got ten. So from here, you want to go up. And place them not uh, very at the top, but like near the top. So like around about, and then yeah. So once you do that, oh no, why no? Why, why did it place, man? Damn it. Okay. Now, this is a bit difficult if you can't really see. Your character says fat as man. It is a bit difficult. I say I need to go down one more. That should. No, oh man. So uh, it's it's actually pretty easy to copy. It's not bad. Ah, <sighs> that's one difficulty when it comes to boarding this landing things. Okay, if you want, like I said, you can put it together with our grid snap. But I am too scared to do that, and uh, this is a rush build. Like I keep saying, that's, that's probably my last time I say it. It's like yeah, five times already. Don't wanna don't wanna say no more. Now this this is the tricky part. Because you don't exactly like getting the proportions right is quite hard in this part. And it can take some time. But you don't wanna make it take time, you wanna get a first try, which is it's, it's a bit difficult because you're basically copying this thing and putting it into the, its four parts. So let's keep it in there for now. So the four parts. It's much more difficult than you think. That what you think. Let's just see if this looks normal at all. Actually, yeah, 
think we may have to move that one a bit back. Okay, wait, that's one's three, three, uh... Do I want to bring it closer? Yes! So, a smart way of our view, what I'll do is from this, uh, what's it called, this wall, place a floor behind it, and one there, another one, and yeah, until you just keep doing that, it must be two right, okay, three long, one, two, two, three, so, so, okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven by seven, basically, is how you want to be building this thing. And if you can build it correct first try, I'll be uh, be impressed because oh, like this thing ain't easy to build. I really wanted to come to creative. Hopefully Epic Games does that does do that console properly. I know Epic don't can't even watch videos like mine because of how bad they are. But if I ever if I ever stumble upon it, please add collider. Literally a lot of people want it. Okay. Uh, there we go. Now we're going to do the little ring thing with the ring. Or whatever you want to call that goes in the middle. So once again, you want to go back to the... What is this thing called? Uh, the robot gallery. I'm just going to call it the robot gallery. And then you want to grab this piece out. So once you grab it out, you want to shrink it just a bit. One, two... Three, four, and then just change the width. No, actually, no. What? Five. There we go. Is this? Yes, it is. So this must be roughly. I think it was. Okay, no, it must be two blocks apart. So let me just make extra sure, because I really don't want to be doing this ring twice. Okay, let's let okay, let's do two and a half then. There we go. Now I feel confidence. Oh nope, just unselected it. And then yeah, you basically just want to do a circle trick until it all wraps around. It may not be the cleanest circle. You can definitely find a better one. I'm not gonna say what I just said. I won't say again. But it is a rush to build, just to get out there quickly because. The Siege Cannon got 200 views and it was a crappy ball. This one's sure to get like, I don't know, at least like 100 or something. Hopefully, maybe, I don't know. Uh, yeah, yeah, guys, we may have made it a bit too big, but I don't think it really matters if it goes through the one part as long as you can stand like on the one side of the ring. So, what I like to do is I usually like to place it underneath. And on the top like that, and then one for basically right there, and then underneath again, and one for the top. Now that you got what's it called the little things done, you want to go ahead and grab. You want to go to. No, I don't know if it's in terrain or nature, one of them, but the law of a gallery, whatever you want to call it. You want to grab this piece. This piece is very handy. Very. And then you just want to blow it up until it basically like fits perfectly into the circle. You might want to even go grid snap 4 or 8 for this. I'm going to go grid snap 8. And there. And just basically do that for like all the rings. You can do that before you copy and paste all the rings. So like you can put the you can put this through the rings and then copy them and then put them around before you even add these. But that's why I say watch the video before you um start doing it. But yeah, okay, so now we got that. Now, if you look on the clouder, it's actually got like a like an orange part that goes with like legs. 
That part is the only part I don't think I'll be able to add in this, sadly. Yeah, so the only way... Uh, this is a part when a lot of you are probably just going to like click off because it's not going to look nice, but... I don't know if I will be able to find an orange part. But if you can... Just try to do it. Otherwise, I'm gonna have to use this. It's not orange, I know, but it makes it look something. Basically, these pieces from the command cavern uh, gallery. Make it two each. And then just start like, pacing it. Only at a certain height, though. Only at a certain height. So when you reach here, Just about high in the fence. You could stop. Because you don't want to go higher than that. Because we're going to add something else here. And then. Just go through the ground a bit. Just so. It doesn't go through each other. Like that so. Like that. Again just a bit higher. Now you can actually go ahead. Copy these and paste them around. If you keep watching, I will tell you one thing that you need to do after you do this. And just to make it look more like the collider bits. Because it, it, it does have an inside the collider. But I don't know, you know if you can go in it. So you basically you want to remove these like pieces of here. Which basically are the like. I don't know what you'll call them. So you can access, like. I don't think you can go there. I haven't been in the middle of the card, as I say. I don't know if you can go there. I should really try. But remove these pieces. And then. You want to go to the Dusty Depot Gallery. Not nature, not terrain, no, nope, no thanks. The Dusty Depot, which is over... It's a very hard gallery to miss. If I miss this, I'm going to slap myself. There it is. Um, right there. And you just want to, like, resize it a bit. So, mm -hmm, just resize it. Not to its max. I feel like to its max is a bit too big. But until you feel like it's good enough. For me, I feel... Yeah, this this is perfect. So yeah, once you go like this. You just want to bring it up just a little bit. Because the collider, it does... Let's just see if I've done everything correct here, actually. Um... Is it correct? Wait, no. That's why. There we go. And if you look on the bottom, if you're going by rail, there is like a bunch of sand on the bottom. So what I would do is... I would... Where's that gallery? We got... Uh, what's it called? Two options. This could be a third option using these, but I don't know if I would really recommend it. This one over here is probably your best option. Just because I'm not too sure. Just, I don't know. It looks a bit better than the, the, the floating island. But try and add like dirt on the bottom. And yeah. So, this one is in the end. We still got to add the big beam. So, for, in order to get the big beam. Uh, we go to, where is it? It's that light. That bright light. That's can blind a person, I don't know if it really can blind a person, but make sure to get orange, because that's the color of the collider. Grid snap 2, always grid snap 2. And then place it in the middle, you know it's in the middle, if it looks like it's in the middle, there we go, that's that's very helpful tip right there. And that's basically it. Let's actually just remove this, it doesn't look good to be honest. 
if I was you, just probably use this thing. Because, yeah, 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 I definitely use this thing. Holy crap. Definitely use this thing, actually. Wow. Looks ten times better. That's basically the collider. I re I'm really sorry that I couldn't get these parts on here properly. I just, I really couldn't find the pieces before starting the video. I'm not too sure if there is a ring around here. I haven't really looked at any pictures of the collider. Just apart from the battery. I'm using my head right now. So yeah. That's the collider from Fortnite Battle Royale. And if you want, don't even forget. You must add the little launch pads on each side. Don't know why I can't add it there. Strange. As well as there. I don't know what's happening. But if you enjoyed, please, of course, like and subscribe for more creative videos. I really want to do more because if this one gets over 200 views in the next two weeks and over 20 likes, I will build the robot background. So yeah, I'll do a tutorial on that. If you enjoyed, like and subscribe, boys. Because this thing, actually in my opinion, I like it. It looks good. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.